Since we moved to Mount Shasta, Jolene and I have been looking at a rock spire from the Lake Siskiyou Trail, upper left video, and from uh, Lake Siskiyou Boulevard when we're just driving down that. Also from a railroad walk, it's just visible from lots of different places. And we finally decided, you know, we need to figure out just where the heck this thing is. And so this video is our quest to find it. And as we go further along into the video, it will become apparent just where this thing is. For today's hike, we turned off the Castle Lake Road here, parked and started hiking here, and made our way to this high point, which we thought was the spire. It's about 34 degrees. Yeah. <laughs> so let's get going. <laughs> October 24th, 2024, we are looking for that mysterious spire that we've been looking at for two and a half years since we moved here. I'm sure we have it located and I'm sure this road would get us there, but if we do it all the way to the spire, it's gonna be like a, oh gosh, almost a six mile round trip and 1600 feet vertical, which uh, I don't know. There's a time that would have been easy for us, but I don't know if we'll do that now or not. It is supposed to get up to like 60 degrees today, but these spires we're looking at are fairly close to Castle Lake. Uh, I'll show where they are on the map when I put this video together. We hiked to Toad and Porcupine Lakes a couple of days ago and took the inset picture from the trail up to Porcupine Lake. The arrow shows the spire. The second arrow shows where Castle Craigs is. I really should have been able to tell what, where the spire was just from looking at this photo. We were 27 degrees at the house last night. It's warmed up a little bit, but not much. Wintertime temperatures in Mount Shasta, typically low temperatures are gonna be, I don't know, maybe low 30s, dip into the 20s at times, rarely the teens, and I don't know that I've ever seen single digits here. Again, we've just been here two and a half years, but in uh, Colorado, you'd see single digits and sub-zero really often. We started early enough that assuming we uh, don't crater, we have plenty of time to actually go all the way. Yeah. Way. As always, I'm amazed at all the old forest route roads that they put so much effort into and then just kind of abandon them. That's what we're coming up. And we've come up 325 feet so far. Guess that was enough to get the old blood moving, get warmed up. So we came up here, I don't know, a few days ago. Didn't bring the cameras, but uh, we'd never been up here before, and I wasn't sure if the road would be in good enough shape for us to drive the Subaru all the way to where these spires are. The road goes that far. But uh, where we parked, that first stretch of road down there is not a Subaru road. <clears throat> Gotta be something small with lots of ground clearance, four wheel drive. Low range, preferably. And I mean, these days, if you really wanna go over challenging stuff, your side-by-sides are so much more capable than just about anything else. And if we had that side-by-side, -side, we'd just drive all the way up here. Uh -huh. Like everything, I doubt we'll ever have one, but then I also know never say never about anything. Yeah. So we got about 1.7 miles in about 50 minutes. And it seems like around where this switchback is, it starts getting a little bit steeper. We have come up about 690 feet so far. So we're we're knocking it out. We're gonna to have to do 1600 vertical if we do the whole thing. And we're early enough, we might. I think we're gonna be slowing our pace down a little though.
So those of you shaking your head, son, you're already going slow. I reply, we can always go slower. And at any age, pace has a lot to do with how far you go today. When you're young, I mean, you go to fast pace, you're strong enough to do it, you go further. But as you get older, you slow the pace down, you can still go quite a ways. Not as far, but you go too fast at any age, you burn out. And that's a problem. Yeah, I can see where it uh, may start up a little steeper, just about where Jolene is now. We haven't done a, a lot of hiking with a lot of vertical to it since I uh, have my joints replaced, and we've done a few, but not enough where you remember just uh, how much you heat up when you're climbing like this. Taking off a layer. Oh, yeah, I think just taking so. a break. Yeah, this is our turn. We've done almost two miles in under an hour, so we're still doing two miles an hour. Uh huh. I'm gonna come up 775 feet, so. Yeah, so this is called the Castle Divide Road. What? I said this is called the Castle Divide Road. Looks like we go there. I didn't even notice that we had a, uh -huh. a split here. I was just noticing that we need to, at some point we're gonna make a right turn. Yeah, see I wasn't watching that close. Yeah. I guess this is it. Actually, the map shows a little sooner, but yeah, this no, is you, the, you're right. This is good. This be is it. the first spot I've seen that looks. Yep, I'm glad you're watching. Yeah. Let me just see if I show this on this camera. You see where we started over here? Came around that bend. Jolene spotted that uh, we needed to turn right there. There's going to be a right turn, then a left turn. And the the contours gets a little bit steeper than what we have been doing. But the spire we're looking for is right there. And there's actually a whole series of them. We got a sideways look at it when we did our porcupine lake hike just a few days ago. And when you see it from Lake Siskiyou or from our house, it looks like a single spire because you see the highest foremost one, but you don't see the row of them down behind it. Now, if we ever got a UTV side by side, it'd be nice to find one of those really small ones, but something that's got a bigger bed in it so we could carry doggies. And I don't know why I talk about such things because I don't know that we'll ever do it. There's tracks up here. Yep. Well, I guess it's a good thing you have your own copy of Gaia. Yeah. On your phone. Uh huh. It's I'm not as reliable as I once was. Let's double check. <laughs> I got a zone out. Don't pay attention. Uh huh. No, I just knew we didn't go very far on that switchback. Mm -hmm. We had to turn. Well, this is still a fine side by side road. Uh huh. Of course, I'm pretty sure we are going to make it now. The question is. What have we left for the way back? <laughs> yeah, well, it's pretty well all down here. Yep. Easier on the lungs, harder on the joints. Well, it's just way too wooded to get any early looks at these spires. Yeah, some, I think it's opening up over there. Uh -huh. Got 500 more feet to go up. Come up 1138 so far. Unfortunately, I'd rather not just do it all at once. <laughs> yeah. Hopefully the grade will level out again a little here. Uh -huh. The trees are thinning a little. Uh-huh. And it keeps getting steeper. Yeah. The red dot is where we're headed. That's where the spires are. We are making good progress. 
it's still too heavily wooded to be able to see it. We can just kind of straight ahead, but hopefully we'll see it when we get to the end of this road. I saw a little bit of a track back there quite a ways, just briefly. No idea how old it was, but this does not get used much. Well, the forest is opening up. That's a good piece of deadfall across the road. I'm going to do it the dog way. Crawl. And Darlene is doing what I did just a moment ago. Well done. Overlook point here. And this is where we are. And so our spires are straight up there. But... Yeah, hopefully we can work through these willows. Yeah. I don't like this. Let's try the other way. Yeah. This looks like it's possible. Now these spires are not going to come easy. Yeah. If we ever get to a point where we can see them. We're on the road here. This is it. This is so typical of a uh, Western <laughs> forest roads. Yeah. They go for a while and sometimes you can see where they had been. There's a little bit of trace of them, but they just get overgrown. No maintenance, not used. Well, the road does go through there, but ick. What? Uh, I was just saying the road does go through there, but yeah, this is time for a detour. Uh-huh. See if we can get on the ridge. Yeah. Yeah, I wasn't expecting this. This. I thought we'd have a good road all the way. Yeah, I did too. I just wonder if we went over there, if we could probably pick up the road. I don't know. Glad I have both poles. Yeah. Sadie's no dummy. She took the easy way. Getting less optimistic that these are our spires. I mean, if nothing else, get up higher and higher. I mean, we got to be close to where they are. Might be able to get a look around and see them somewhere. Uh -huh. Yep, we're in uh, true bushwhack country. Got to be prepared to zigzag and maybe backtrack. Yeah, this looks better. We might have found the road again. This kind of looks like it. Now, I'm sure we're on the old road again, but yeah. I don't know that we can actually follow this back. Too much deadfall over it. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. No spires appearing yet. Over there? Over there. <laughs> well, over there. You got a good look at them from the side here, but once again. Okay. Yeah. It's just further away. Yeah. Okay, for where I am now, let's see if I can figure out how to get to it. It's got to be in Castle Crags. Not today. Not today, but at least we got high enough to see him. Uh huh. And boy, got some nice scenery from here. <laughs> let's see. So I'm looking just straight at it. Yeah. Huh. Probably a mile away, half a mile away. Yeah. Half a mile. Here's another look at the spire from uh, a parking lot just below the ski bowl up Everett Memorial Highway. Well, after regrouping, a little bit of an early lunch. I'm thinking about 
up. I'm trying to get to the high point here and see if we could look down onto Castle Lake. I mean, we may never come this way again, so we have to do everything we can. We had already gone far enough to um, kind of scratch off our original objective, which was to get to the spire slash pinnacle over there. But now the objective is see if we can get up high enough to look down on Castle Lake. Looking at the topo, it looks possible. Well, huh, I was about to say, so no, there's some uh, joy in getting to place hardly everybody goes to, but then <laughs> there's a weather station. There's a weather station, yeah. I wonder what route they take to get to it. Yeah, probably from Castle Lake. Well, somewhere over in the far distance there was where Porcupine Lake was, because we got a... From there, I could look over here and draw a line over to this point we're at, and that's where I thought the pinnacle was. But along that same line, continue on to where it really is. This is not a great route. We'll find a better way back, yeah. <laughs> I hope. <laughs> it's just, <laughs> distances are so... Deceiving. Deceiving. But yeah, so you have these ridge of the crags. See this right here? Conceivably right there. Yeah, I think it's right in here, see. Okay, here's where, where we are. Uh-huh. And I mean, Right there is the peak side yeah. castle lake. That's not it. Mm -mm. You start going a little bit left. You know, see, so it may be down the ridge there, but no, that's just another. Uh, yeah. It's further back. It's further. It's just really big. That's why we're so. But it's, it's in Castle Crags. We're at 5864, and that's higher than us for sure. Uh -huh. So these closer ones are lower than us. Yes. <laughs> uh huh. Well, looking at over here, 65.45. I look at it this way, see the little points, bing, 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 going along? Mm -hmm. That's the dragon's back, maybe we were kind of looking at it. Yeah. We are here, and the spire is here, and Jolene was right all along, it's part of Castle Crags. Okay, you can find the way back. Ah, ah. I did not do a good job. You didn't, but I won't either. Yeah. <laughs> Trust me, I, I make comments about you kind of that may sound disparaging, but they're also making fun of myself too. I wouldn't do any better. I kind of saw that weather station and said, oh, this should, you know, there's probably a road over here. And mm. mm -hmm. it's getting worse and worse. Well, the old road is over there. So. Okay. So just kind of get over the ridge and these girls are game. We've got to give them credit. Oh. They love this. I don't know what they love it, but they certainly... They think it's fun. Yeah. I don't expect this to be a, a nice, easy way back. Yeah. But the way we came up wasn't either, so... No. Oh, Manzanita. Yuck. Yeah. What do you think, Sadie? Can we get through here, girl? All right, let's go back. <laughs> At least I know the way we came is doable. Yeah. I don't know if this is or not. That man's need is just so well, thick. There might be another way to get over to the road. Mm hmm So we can kind of look. I guess the nice thing when you get into the bigger pines it yeah. shades out the manzanita. Yeah, it chokes out the manzanita. Yeah. yeah. I'm not averse, though, to going down as long as we don't have thick manzanita, which means stay in the shadier sections. Yeah. The dogs think this is fun. <laughs> yeah. They're, they're, they're very sure-footed on this stuff. This makes our uh, upper gum drop, upper gum boot bushwhack look uh, pretty tame. Yeah. Yeah, it's much steeper out here. Yeah, I don't like what I'm looking at there, dogs. So I'm going to go this way. Yeah, we're getting in kind of a drainage here. I think that ridge up there is kind of how we came through originally. But getting over to it could be a challenge. 
I'm glad my way is so much better. Huck. <laughs> and my camera just went off. They do that. That means uh, we got to get you a different battery. Yeah. I doubt the batteries run down. It's just they do that. So you think my way is better? <laughs> what? So you think my way is better? It's still not good, but oh, this is yeah. It's rough going in here. Yeah. He says I don't know. First, there's Cashy's up there. Yeah. Well, that was a interesting detour. Interesting detour. <laughs> yeah. Okay, we should just be able to stroll on down here. <laughs> Well, it shouldn't be as bad as what we've been going no. through. It should be better. Yeah. Well, at least this is not Manzanita. Mm. There is some to the left, but not what we're walking through. Yeah, that's willows, I think. But I don't know. Well, anyway, I think I'm... I'm guessing we came up exactly along this. I'm not sure. Yeah, we're on it. Yeah, we're on our track. This is... Looking pretty good. For a while. There were some. For a while, yeah. A few spots, but I think uh, I don't remember anything quite as bad as what we just got through doing. Yeah. And man, our spire, pinnacle, whatever you want to call it, just keeps getting away from us. Yep. Someday, but. And I always thought it really wasn't part of Castle Crags, but I think it is. It now. is. Yeah. Right on the edge. So we came up there. Which is okay for a little while, but. Yeah. yeah. I'm always game for trying something a little <laughs> different. Mm. Like everything, it looks good and then it kind of. And then it doesn't. <laughs> closes up, lures you in. Maybe. Over there. Maybe. Could this be our road? I mean, there's there's nothing that looks good right through here. Yeah. I guess we, oh, there's where we want to be. Okay. So it might we can be better. Try going down this way. Yeah. Maybe. But like I say, <laughs> yeah. this doesn't look great either. Maybe a little bit better than what you were looking at, uh -huh. though. Maybe. Well, to anybody that's never done this kind of thing, holes help a lot. Go slow, be patient. Backtrack if you have to, zigzag. Keep looking for that better way through. And make sure that you got some sort of GPS nav with you, because you can get turned around in this stuff pretty easy. Jolene's got a, a Garmin 5, getting quite old on her wrist, but it's showing her the track back. I'm using a little app on my Apple Watch, and I've also got Ga Gaia going on my phone. The Apple Watch, for what I'm doing, is good enough. Gaia shows a whole lot more detail. I mean, Jolie and I spent most of our life backpacking, hiking, and going to the paper maps. We uh, predate the whole GPS era by a considerable amount, but we have thoroughly adapted to the more modern GPS age, and I wouldn't try it any other way now. With the maps, you'd always get turned around, you'd wind up going the wrong places, it would take you a long time to figure it out the GPS nav. Well, you don't get lost, but you still, if you're bushwhacking like this, have challenges trying to figure out the best way. And the old road is down here, but that doesn't necessarily mean anything good. <laughs> I think the old, oh, but, what would this be the old road? Oh, ick. <laughs> this is the old road. It doesn't look too bad going that way, but <laughs> <laughs> well, that's where we want to go. It's yeah, impassable. that's uh, impassable. 
I think I can go down a little more than then cut over. Cut over. That's what I'm hoping. Yeah, that obviously is what caused us to go. Now, wait a minute. This is the old road, and I actually. Okay. Work through the. Not all that dense right here. Little trees. There's even a little ribbon. Yeah. Saying so, this is the way. Yeah. Definitely old road, and, and this is not bad. Okay. First glance, it looked bad, but not really. But this is what happens to old roads that don't get maintained. They, they disappear. Still seeing ribbons. Mm-hmm. Old ribbons. Yeah. Anyway, big improvement so far. It's interesting, you didn't notice the ribbons before. Yeah, no, we're, this is our, our good road here. That's the fallen tree that would stop uh -huh. OH fears, but. Yeah, this is. This is it. That was fun. <laughs> yeah, that's probably the right way. Yeah, I just crawling. Crawling head first like I did was not yeah. good. No. Oh, well, we both made it. You made it. I got it to watch easy. you and say, no, that's not how to do it. Yeah, no, I, I agree. <laughs> You're just making yourself big in the wrong place. Yeah. Anyway, got fairly good road the rest of the way. 